Hi, welcome. I'm Melissa Gallagher. I'm the owner of Healthy Being by Melissa. I'm a nutritionist and a naturopath. And today I want to talk to you about the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Not sure if you're familiar with that, but these are the lists that you want to remember and even take with you when you're out grocery shopping or hitting your local farmer's market. They're the products that you want to avoid buying conventional and they're the products that are okay to buy conventional. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you the lists that are right behind me and we're going to go through those lists. We're going to talk a little bit about how to eat cleaner and how to incorporate less pesticides and harmful chemicals that might mess up or cause imbalance within your hormones and jeopardize your health. We're going to start with the dirty dozen and this is your shoppers list that you want to get. I have this available on my website if you want to get the download and you can sign up to download this document. I'll have it emailed to you. But basically these are the list of vegetables and fruit that are high in pesticides and a lot of it has to do with the types of skin of the fruit or the vegetable and the way that it's grown. Potatoes apples, grapes, spinach, bell peppers, kale, collard greens, and cucumbers, and cherry tomatoes tend to be very abundant when we're doing our juicing or we're eating healthy. Celery and cherry tomatoes, snap peas, nectarines, hot peppers, a lot of things that are used in the diet, this is something that you want to Remember to buy organic apples, organic strawberries, organic peaches, organic spinach, organic kale, you want organic potatoes because that product is consuming a lot of the pesticides. And we call this the dirty dozen. It's a list of 12 items that you want to buy organic if possible. Here we have the clean 15. These are the products it's okay to buy conventional or organic if you prefer, but if you're trying to save money, the Clean 15 is a great list for you to know. Avocados, kiwi, cantaloupe, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, mangoes, sweet peas, pineapple. Sometimes it has to do with the actual protective skin, and other times it just has to do with that particular plant and the fruit or the vegetable in not consuming all the pesticides. So this is your list where you can save a lot of money at your grocery store or local farmer's market. Again, I'm gonna have these lists available on my website. Check out Healthy Being LLC by Melissa. And you can download that for free. Thanks for checking in my list. I hope that's helpful for you. And if you are trying to be a healthy consumer, I'm also going to be recording videos that talk about how to coupon and how to save money for some of those products that are a little bit more expensive on your shopping list. I've been doing uh, couponing for the last two years and have found it really successful and I'm saving money but also not sacrificing my health and eating good foods and good products. So these two lists, the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, should help you in being a smart consumer. Stay tuned for more health information and healthy videos here at Healthy Being by Melissa on my YouTube channel. I hope if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks. Have a good day.